Hi again, it's Laurence Bradford from Learn to Code with me, and I decided to do a intro to HTML uh, series, and I'm really excited about it because I think I'm going to be actually teaching some kind of HTML class uh, in the near future. We'll have to see. Anyway, it's going to be good practice, so here we go. Oh, I have to pause it. Sorry. Okay, we're back. I just had to get the little slide thing on the side because I didn't know how to get to the next one. Okay, so for this one, um, the sources I used, Girl Develop It, uh, they have some really awesome uh, materials on their site. Uh, there's a link exactly to this slideshow that I'm referencing, but if you just Google uh, Girl Develop It materials, it'll take you to a page with, with a bunch of their materials. And I also put HTML Dog. They have some really good uh, tutor tutorials for beginners. Okay. So, what is HTML? HTML is basically what allows us to build websites. So, let's go here. Okay, so this is my website, and I'm going to be using my sites or other sites I've worked on for all of my videos just because I know there's some sometimes some weird legal things and you can't use people's sites and I don't you know I don't want to get sued or something if I don't know so I'm just gonna be safe and use my site okay so you know this is exam example of a website this is just one page on the site and what I'm going to show you to do view source okay so this is how you see what is kind of behind the scenes of the outer website. So you, what you right click, right click, right click, and view page source. Okay, cool. So a bunch of this stuff is has to do with the WordPress, and I apologize because this code is really not that clean. But this, all this stuff right here is uh, HTML. You can see here header right h1 html cheat sheet h2 the ins and outs of html5 at your fingertips uh, that's something with a form go down a bit and you know here is the text on the page right everything oops everything that's right here shows up on the view source okay cool so a little bit about HTML. I really don't want to spend this that much time even looking at this because I don't think it's that important. But the first web page was in 1991, so some of you maybe weren't even born yet. Uh, HTML means Hypertext Markup Language. And all of the standards of HTML are kind of governed by this body called the W3 Consortium or W3C. So basically they kind of just set the standard for HTML. And right now the most current version is HTML5. So before that, you know, there was HTML4, I guess HTML3 and before and before. And yeah, I say right there, if you want to know more, you can Google it. <laughs> so here are just some basic terms to avoid any confusion. Uh, a web designer, you know, you kind of read what it says here, but a web designer basically puts together the site. Sometimes, you know, they'll do things in uh, Photoshop or Sketch or Illustrator. And then there's other web designers that actually code uh, the site, and they would use HTML and CSS and um, I'm pretty sure JavaScript. So a web developer then does everything kind of in the back, and they will create these dynamic web applications. So, you know, that could be using PHP, which is what WordPress uses, which what is what I use, or even something like using Ruby on Rails to build a web app. Okay, so front end is all the stuff you see that is visibly outward on the site. So back to, oh, back to my site. This would be the front end, right? I can actually show you the back end of my site. So I use, okay, Cyberduck, that's an FTP. Ooh. Okay, well this is the back end, not of this site, of another site that I have. So as you can see here, there's, you know, 
image, folder, fonts, uh, CSS. And then there's only one page on this site, and that's the only page, index.html. Okay, so yep, that's the back end. So out of those, what does HTML fall under? Well, I would say definitely front end because HTML pretty much makes up everything you see on the website. And I guess that could also go with um, a web designer because I would say most web designers know HTML. Okay, but it's not like a back end language is, you know, the point. Okay, so before you begin building uh, your first HTML website, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a browser, and I definitely recommend Chrome or Firefox. Personally, I use Chrome, but Firefox I have on my computer as well, and I'll use it sometimes. And then you need a developer toolkit. Don't worry, I'll go over that in the next video more, but basically, you know, I'll just go over it later. It's, I, I have to show you. <laughs> and then the text editor is also very important. Again, I'll go over this later, but I use one called Sublime Text, and it's free to download. There are also, there's also a Text Wrangler for Mac, which is popular, Notepad++ for Windows, and then for Linux, there's one called Get It. I think it's how you pronounce that. And uh, that's popular as well. Okay, so up next. The next thing we're going to do is to start building your first web page completely from scratch. And we'll go over just the basic elements in HTML.